become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about Raul Pacheco, a silver era bodybuilding legend that had a very pleasing and aesthetic physique. He actually was the distant cousin of the well-known Golden Era bodybuilding legend Anibal Lopez, who was quite famous in the 70s. It is said that Raul Pacheco served to inspire Anibal, as he, Raul Pacheco, and his brother-in-law were both bodybuilders in the Silver Era. Not much is known about Raul, but I did come across this rare article recently featuring this forgotten bodybuilder from the past, and I thought I would shed light on this man and his achievements and pay tribute to this Silver Era legend. Here he is pictured in a relaxed pose, and aesthetic as it gets. Fantastic. Now similar to most Silver Era bodybuilding legends, Raul, just like them, started off um, very sick in his younger years. Um, and it's always the same deal. A lot of these sick kids uh, looked towards physical culture to enhance their uh, health and their physique and and they found it i mean they found through the practice of physical culture through good eating and through exercise that a lot of their um, conditions could be uh, basically cured and it was the same for young raul at 10 years old he was sickly and thin constantly getting colds etc and one of his friends recommended that he try mild calisthenics so we're talking you know things like running um, chin-ups dips etc just like many many of the silver era bodybuilders did in the past and this seemed to really strengthen his organs and his musculature, his overall physique, his overall health improved. And he actually practiced this for about five years and got very well conditioned on this program. Now at 15 years of age, Raul discovers bodybuilding um, by chance. He's in a park walking around and he sees a gymnast with incredible strength and a fantastic physique called Henry Diaz, who actually introduces him to the sport of bodybuilding and weight training and he actually lends him a couple of dumbbells and so Raul Pacheco starts you know copying what he saw training at home but he's still disappointed in that he didn't really improve his physique much again chance has it that his friend who was friends uh, with Kim Voyages a silver era legend truly a silver era legend of, of the past of the very early silver era it, perhaps you could even say from the late bronze era um, and he set him up together um, for an appointment with Kim Voyages. And so the two met up, that is Raul Pacheco met Kim Voyages at Val Pasqua's gym, a very famous gym at the time in New York City. And here we have Val Pasqua himself uh, sporting a very, very aesthetic physique. Um, so he was very fortunate to join such a gym as you'll see. Now fortunately for Raul, as I mentioned, the, the gym, that is Val Pasqua's gym in New York, was filled with many silver era legends so he became training partners with with all of these guys and, and shared lots of really good workouts so we're talking about Kim Voyages again pictured here a very thick muscular um, <laughs> legend from from the um, very late bronze and early silver era of bodybuilding shown here with his trophy and of course uh, Bill Surtis, Al Berman and the owner of the gym Val Pasqua um, he even uh, competed against his training partners in many strength competitions that were held at Val Pasqua's gym. So you can just imagine the kind of atmosphere that he would be in. You know, everybody kind of trying to beat each other in these strength comps. Uh, you know, it's it's very much like the golden era camaraderie. They're all trying to beat each other, but try and help each other out. What a great atmosphere to train in. Now, very similar to all these silver era bodybuilding legends, he also trained three times a week on a full body routine and developed a very aesthetic 150 pound uh, physique on a 5'7 frame. And I mean, for such, I guess, for, for only a 150 pound man, these strength feats, his ability to bench and squat for the weights that he did and, and dip for the weights that he strapped around him, it's pretty impressive. We're talking about a 150 pound man. This guy could uh, wide bench press almost double his own body weight, 280 pound, four reps, four reps. This guy was super strong. He could squat double his body weight as well, four reps, and he would 
performed dips with 150 pounds strapped onto him. This guy was truly, truly strong. It's pretty impressive. Um, he uh, also believed in using the principles of forced repetitions, the flushing method, which I've talked about recently, and something called mental contraction uh, method, which is basically um, using peak concentration to uh, develop a more defined physique. The man wasn't just a bodybuilder. Like many silver era bodybuilders back in the day, these guys were all round athletes. So he was also an expert on the high bar, um, in, which is a gymnastics specialty. And um, with his own program of three times, uh, training three times full body routine a week, so his full body routine performed three times a week, he actually chose to usually train three to four sets of each exercise. This was his general routine and um, his strength feats. Pretty impressive. Now I thought I would also share Raul Pacheco's diet and lifestyle just to really show you what these guys were really like. Similar to, again, the silver era bodybuilders that I've talked about in the past, he would eat natural unprocessed foods, including of course, fresh fruit and vegetables, whole grain over refined, high quality meats and dairy, which he enjoyed having raw milk, that is raw, and um, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, no white breads, uh, no refined um, carbs, and no desserts or fat-forming foods. Again, processed carbs and sugars. He also did not smoke or drink. And he did enjoy his sleep. He actually used to sleep at least nine hours every night. That's what he stated. And just like before, I mean, these guys weren't just bodybuilders. So this guy really enjoyed his life. He, he, he enjoyed all kinds of sports, dancing, swimming, and bowling. He was just an all-round, um, you know, athlete, and really enjoyed his life, enjoyed eating, and enjoyed bodybuilding. That's what really is about health and enjoying your life, isn't it? Now, if you're interested in developing a classical silver era physique, I've got self-written books on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. Uh, here we have Steve Reeves' uh, titles such as "Developing the Calves," "How I Develop My Waist," and "How I Develop Broad Shoulders." all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and this tribute on Raul Pacheco, a forgotten silver era bodybuilding legend with such an aesthetic physique, an all round athlete, just like many of the silver era bodybuilders were. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron. You can visit my website as well, www.goldenerabookroom.com to, um, to purchase, sorry, eBooks from the golden, silver, and bronze era of bodybuilding. These are mostly out of print books or books written by myself. If you'd like to get in touch to pass on your old bodybuilding and uh, books and mags, please get in touch via email. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the golden era bookworm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.